This is Kurt Grimm, Nutri-Drip Irrigation Systems, and today we're going to talk about uh, properly installing soil moisture probes on subsurface drip irrigation. So this is one of the frequently asked questions we get is how to properly place a soil moisture probe. So it's given us relative information um, to the amount of moisture that's being put in the soil. This is a Centec soil moisture probe system. Uh, the Centec probe is tapered. We use a dry install method. And you can see the probe has little um, indentations here every six inches. This is where it's taking its readings from. So there's actually um, circuitry inside this. So that's one thing that's really important with this type of probe is, is to, to be gentle with it. Um, there is computer hardware inside here that's, it's, it is resin filled, so it's very durable. Um, but the sensor is taking the, the readings from these different points along the way. And then that information is transmitted into here and there's a small modem in here and then this information goes to the cloud. So this is the tapered drill bit um, that's used. The Centec is one of the simpler systems uh, to install. Uh, we'll demonstrate that. So an important part of getting a soil moisture probe properly installed on subsurface drip irrigation is understanding where the probe needs to be placed relative to the drip line. So in order to do that, we actually need to dig down and find the drip line and find an emitter. So here we've dug down, we've located an emitter, and we've put the flag right beside that. The next two flags here, so we know that our drip line has 24 inch emitter spacing, so we've placed two more flags out here where the next two emitters are. And so we're gonna use this flag here as our, as our reference point to properly install the, the soil moisture probe. Then what we wanna do is we wanna measure eight inches, six to eight inches over and six to eight inches down the drip line. And so this is our reference point where we're actually gonna install the probe. This field we have drip line every 60 inches. So if we were to put the drip the uh, soil moisture probe clear over here between the drip lines uh, would not be representative. If we put it right next to the dripper, it wouldn't be representative. We've learned this is the this is the sweet spot for where we want a soil moisture probe installed with subsurface drip irrigation. So this is the AquaSpy soil moisture probe. Again, this is a 48 inch probe. Um, it has, and it takes readings every four inches. It's again, filled with lots of, lots of circuitry that, that take the readings. Um, it, it connects to this telemetry unit, has a small solar panel on it. This is not a tapered probe, so it has a different install method. Uh, we use this drill bit um, and actually make a slurry. So this drills the hole a little extra big. We take the dirt out of the hole that we extracted, make a slurry out of it and that's what's called a wet install where we push the probe down into that slurry to get it into the ground. This is the aerometer uh, moisture probe. That is very, this is the simplest um, moisture probe system there is. It's all manual, so this is a gypsum filled tip. So we fill this up with liquid, put a vacuum on this to, to extract all of the air. And then this is simply installed by, by pushing a regular soil sampling probe into the ground and then we follow it with this probe and as it dries out, it will create a vacuum on this vacuum gauge. So this is a manual system that you manually have to come out and read. It's very inexpensive. You can get different depths. So you can go anywhere from a four inch depth, I think all the way down to a 48 inch. So you can have multiple of these out in your field uh, to see what's going on. And then the watermark sensors are um, again, gypsum filled blocks. We soak these in water ahead of time um, to, to get to their full capacity. Then we use a regular soil probe to drill our hole and then push these down into the ground. And then these wires collect, connect to telemetry um, that sends the data to the cloud where we can access it and create charts and graphs that help us understand how much moisture is in the soil. So you can see these are different lengths for different depths that we want to read at. Um, these are very inexpensive sensors. Um, the cost is in the telemetry and, and the equipment that's needed to, to communicate to the device. Soil moisture probes are really important to help us make proper water management decisions. Um, they are a tool in your toolbox that help you know not only when to turn on, but also when to turn off. Uh, this is really important in areas that get rain, um, maybe even more so than areas that are in, the, in a more arid climate. 
because we might get a half inch of rain, but how far down in the soil profile did that water soak? And is there still room to put water in with our irrigation system? So soil moisture probes are a really um, essential tool to make sure we don't waste water, to make sure we're efficient with it, but also to make sure the crop is never under stress. So all these tools give us the ability to, to measure saturation point and wilting point. And, and we want to stay between those two, those two points of reference. Um, and every soil is so different. So we'll look at um, those saturation point on a sand is drastically different than saturation on a clay. And vice versa, saturation or a wilting point on a, on a clay is drastically different than, than wilting point on a sand. And so soil moisture probes help us understand those differences and help us to make decisions during the season that really can help us save water, save nutrients, um, there would be no reason to put your, um, there would be no reason to put fertilizer out if the soil is saturated or the soil can't hold any more water or hold any more nutrients. So it's really important to help us make proper decisions during the growing season. Mm -hmm.